Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Hedrick. Welcome to my kitchen. I am a self-taught chef, so this is a video series where I share with you the tried and true recipes and techniques that I've discovered in my quest to up my culinary mojo. I'm so excited to share this recipe with you today, and I feel like little Miss River Lee here is very excited to help. You wanna make some dog treats? Let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Ah! For these pumpkin peanut butter dog treats, you will need one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree, a quarter cup creamy peanut butter, two eggs, two teaspoons cinnamon, three cups rice flour, and your favorite small cookie cutters. These treats are extremely easy to make. Just add all of your ingredients to your mixing bowl and mix. A couple notes regarding the ingredients. It is extremely important to double check and make sure that you are getting 100% pure pumpkin and not pumpkin pie filling. Pumpkin pie filling has sweeteners and other spices in it that you don't want in your dog treats. The same goes with the cinnamon. These treats definitely have a pumpkin pie flair to them, but do not use pumpkin pie spice. Pumpkin pie spice blends include a variety of spices, one of which is nutmeg. Nutmeg is very toxic to dogs, so you wanna make sure that you're using 100% pumpkin, 100% cinnamon. This is a very soft, slightly wet dough. Before we get to rolling out our dog treats, prep your sheet tray with a little bit of parchment paper. Before you dump your dough out on your surface, sprinkle with a good amount of rice flour. Sprinkle with a little bit more rice flour and pat it into a ball. We're gonna roll this dough to a quarter inch thick. And I have this nifty little rolling pin that has guides on the side to make sure that everything rolls out evenly. Like I said, this is a wet dough, so the pumpkin will start to absorb some of that rice flour we put underneath it. If your treats don't come up with the cookie cutter, just go under there with a spatula. Once you've cut out all you can, just combine your dough back together and re-roll it out. Again, placing more rice flour underneath it and on top. I'm making this entire batch today, but you could absolutely stop here and put the rest of this dough in the freezer. And then when you're ready to make more dog treats, just take it out of the freezer, let it come to room temperature, and follow the steps as normal. There are many benefits to making your own dog treats. A lot of dogs have a gluten intolerance. These are gluten-free. Pumpkin includes vitamins A, E, and C, potassium, there's antioxidants. The water content and the fiber content of the pumpkin flesh is really good for digestion. The benefits of cinnamon are great too. It helps to regulate their blood sugar, helps maintain a healthy weight, and it's also anti-inflammatory, so if you have an older dog or any large breed, it can be really beneficial for their joint health. My oven has been preheating at 350 degrees. We're gonna bake these for about 25 minutes. Store your treats in an airtight container, and pat yourself on the back that you took the time to do something delicious and healthy for your best friend. And ye be warned, the benefits of pumpkin will have your puppy pooping like a friggin' bear, and that's a good thing. And now for the most important part. Are you ready? We're gonna do the taste test. Mm, this one looks good, huh? Mm. Oh, did you? Did you think I was gonna give it to the dog? Okay. I really hope you give this recipe a try. I mean, it's just like with your children. You wouldn't wanna feed them junk food. Why would you wanna feed your fur baby junk treats? It's such an easy recipe, and the health benefits of cinnamon and pumpkin really are extraordinary. Please, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I'm Lindsay Hedrick, and we'll be back really soon with some new videos. See you guys next time.